Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today, I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the TD First Class Visa Infinite Travel Credit Card. The TD First Class Travel Visa Infinite Credit Card is uh, a travel credit card that gives you TD rewards points and it has some uh, insurance uh, benefits or features and I'll go through uh, all of them and I'll provide my analysis and insights on this card so let's start with the unboxing and I'm expecting this video about 10 minutes long. So here's the full package uh, which I just received in the mail and I'll just take out the whole thing out of the envelope. So I'll put this here. So this is what is the full package looks like. So first thing is the welcome letter and then the card is attached on the back of it which I'll come to uh, very shortly and then here you get a information uh, folder or information brochure and uh, let's take a look at that so the name of the card is TD first class travel visa infinite card and the information brochure is a very uh, nice looking brochure and it just outlines uh, what you get with this card and what type of benefits and uh, features you have so i'll uh, go through how many points you earn per dollar spent and everything a little later so let's just uh, flip through it very fast and it has the travel rewards here and then it talks about how to redeem them uh, which is, can be done through Expedia for TD uh, travel website and It has travel protection insurances, so it has some emergency medical insurance and other Insurances which is right here, and I'll just go over them uh, briefly. So it has travel medical insurance uh, up to uh, 1 million dollars and you're covered for 21 days if you are under 65 but if you're over 65 then it's only for four days and then here you have trip cancellation insurance trip interruption insurance and travel accident insurance and auto rental and collision a loss damage insurance delayed and lost baggage insurance emergency travel assistance insurance and uh, so it has all insurances however it doesn't come with flight delay insurance which I do not see it here and because of being a part of that uh, Infinite series card, uh, you will have access to Visa Infinite uh, concierge services and uh, also Visa Infinite uh, luxury hotel privileges and other Infinite uh, services they provide for any Visa Infinite card. So this is not just uh, the Infinite uh, Visa Infinite uh, features would apply to any uh, Infinite credit cards, uh, so not just for TD uh, travel, first class travel credit card. And uh, there are other parts and benefits which I'll uh, not need to go through. And let's take a look here. So there's just uh, other security features and other benefits. Okay, so I don't see anything else to discuss here. So I'll just set it aside here for now and let's take a look at these here. Here is the credit card balance protection insurance. Uh, you don't need that. I do not recommend taking that. It's just uh, something they are trying to sell you. Uh, balance protection insurance. So I'll put it here. And then for Quebec resident, uh, residents only, I'll put it here. And then here is the cardholder agreement and benefit coverage guide and it outlines actually everything here in detail so you'll be able to find everything about uh, the insurance coverage and benefits and everything so what i'll do uh, i have something here which i would like to show you 
so here this uh, if you look at on page 19 where it tells you about the value of the TD points you will be earning with this card so for example every 250 TD points up to the first 300,000 points uh, can be redeemed for a travel purchase of $1,200 and so what it means that when you redeem up to 300,000 points uh, then you'll get the value of $1 from every 250 points so that gives you 40 cents per point flat rate so 40 cents per point if you redeem up to uh, $1,200 travel purchase uh, or travel uh, expenses or if you redeem up to 300,000 TD points so that's a lot uh, and most people will be within this threshold when you try to redeem TD points and you get actually slightly better rate if you are going above anything above uh, this first uh, 300,000 points then you get 200 points for one dollar however I'm not going to talk about the second section here uh, because most people will stay within this range so your value is going to be 250 points per one dollar so that gives you 40 cents per dollar so now I'm going to come back to this uh, information letter here so if you look at here the way the TD points works is that uh, you'll you'll be earning nine points for every one dollar purchases made only online via Expedia for TD so when you use a uh, Expedia for TD website to book your purchases or buy anything travel related then you're gonna get 3.60 percent return or 3.6 percent return uh, for your money uh, for your spend uh, because you're getting nine points and nine times 40 cents is 3.60 that's a good rate of return however the catch is it has to be done via Expedia for TD and then if you're redeeming uh, if you're booking or buying anything uh, any travel purchases uh, on phone not online on phone through Expedia uh, for TD then you're gonna be getting six points that gives you uh, brings down your rate of return to uh, 2.4 percent because you'll be getting six points so six times 40 is 2.4 percent per uh, hundred dollars so if you're doing the same thing over the phone and for everyday purchases you're earning only three points for per one dollar spent which is giving a rate of return of three times 0 0.40 which is only 1.2 percent rate of return for everything else except these two so I would say that's a very bad rate of return that's a poor rate of return so this card shouldn't be your primary card for everyday purchases and the fact what I don't like about this card is that it forces you to buy everything uh, online through Expedia for TD and you may not want to buy everything from Expedia for TD because I don't like buying anything from Expedia and uh, the fact that they're forcing you to do that is uh, should be uh, a main concern uh, to keep this card for long so that's the negative side about this card and although it gives you all the travel insurances and everything however uh, it's not giving you any annual bonus or any priority pass access uh, although it's giving you a uh, priority pass or lounge access although it's giving you discounts on priority pass but that's not going to do a lot of benefit because you're still paying it but you're just getting slight discount so for that reason uh, this card may be good only for those who would do everything uh, through Expedia for TD but even though even though if you do that then when you're purchasing all other uh, everything if you're purchasing uh, all other uh, categories uh, then your rate of return is going to come down to 1.20 which is a poor rate and then we have here let me just take a look here so a lot of information on this side now let me take out the credit card so I'll put it aside here so here's the how the card looks like so TD 
first class travel visa infinite card so what I can see that change uh, the looks of this card it used to look different before so now uh, they change the layout and uh, how the card looks uh, I actually like the older uh, design better than this design this looks uh, too simple uh, and uh, just looks uh, just like a regular credit card it doesn't look uh, like a uh, premium uh, travel freight card so that's what the TD plus travel visa infinite uh, looks like so to wrap it wrap up everything uh, this card would make sense if you're buying everything uh, via Expedia for TD uh, for because you're getting 3.6 percent rate of return for everything else you're only getting a poor 1.2 percent return there is no added benefits for example anniversary bonus or lounge access or anything so at the end uh, this card I just recommend uh, to those who would be heavily uh, spending on Expedia for TD and not anything else and uh, also good for insurance coverages but keep in mind that you're not getting uh, some insurances for example flight delay insurance although it has all other insurances and I believe it doesn't have hotel, motel, burger insurance as well. So that's my uh, take on the TD First Class uh, Travel Visa Infinite card. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.